I've worked in other industries, but there's nothing to be mine in. I can't handle the door. I just can't handle it. I'm a man, they call you. Your father's worked there, your grandfather's worked there. My wife was even manager of the canteen. And 40 years next year, we're still together. <laughs> There was an old saying years ago when I came out of school, you'd always find a job in the coal mine. So this is Broad Street, our main shopping area. At one time in its heyday, there were 116 different businesses here. And that would have been the time when everyone did all their shopping in town. There was a thriving community at the time, and it's the same as everywhere, pit closures, the communities die. Glenavon Town in the year 2000 was a very different place to what you see today. Um, around 75% of the town was actually boarded up. Um, it was quite run down in very many places, so it needed a tremendous amount of attention. Today we are in the Congregational Chapel and in 2009 I was here when it closed. The chapel was in a terrible state. Back in 2002 we had the National Lottery funding, seven and a half million. From my perspective I believe if we didn't have that money we wouldn't be stood here today. The place was dying. I always thought when it closed that this was a building that should be used for the community and this is what's going to happen. I'm a disabled punk. I'm not your standard guy that goes to a Welsh chapel, but everybody here is so welcoming. You feel so involved in what the community does. A building like this enables that and I've never felt as at home as much as I do here. This scarf is connected to the Heritage Centre. Tourists, people from far away, people from the town, in and out all the time. You never see the doors clear. This is what they call the pit head baths. Yeah? So this was built in 1939, paid for by the miners. This was done up with the funding from the Heritage Lottery money. Can you imagine 300 people in there bellowing it out. Takes you back a bit. <laughs> this will bring a hope and an optimism, I think, to the town to see this building coming back to life. There's a sense of pride in what the town has been. There's a sense of pride in what the town could be, but it needs spaces like this to let that spirit thrive. And this is what the refurbishment here enables. Glenavon as a place is absolutely amazing, I think. Because of how small it is, you know everyone. And it's so beautiful to go out and think, oh, I'm, I'm no longer than two minutes away from someone I love. Mm -hmm.